perhaps you've been here. You know your scope is zeroed out. There's no crosswind to speak of. Yet somehow, most of your shots are landing just to the side of your intended target. There's any number of reasons why this is happening, but one of the most common is simply scope can't. You've accidentally slightly twisted your rifle to the left or to the right, and now the scope on top of it is leaning to the right or to the left of true center and throwing off your shots. An easy way to tell when this is happening is to mount a scope level, and we're going to take a look at an inexpensive one. The Easy Shot Bubble Level, on this episode of Moondog Industries. Alright, this is the Easy Shot bubble level for scopes, and as you can see it comes in a very plain, generic black box. Very compact though, each of these squares is one inch, so this is approximately three inches by two and a quarter. And let's see what's inside, because we're really buying it for the contents and not the packaging here. We have a stainless steel Allen wrench, and we have the bubble level and mount here, and this is a very robust looking mount here. You can see this quite hefty and robust, a lot beefier than a lot of bubble levels I've seen and also a much larger uh, spirit level chamber too than most uh, compact uh, bubble levels that I've seen for sale. Uh, I dare say this is probably the uh, the most robust looking one that I've ever uh, come across. So this is definitely something that looks like it could hold up, and it is made of all metal here. And let's just see how much this thing weighs. All right. Got it in ounces here. And this thing weighs 1.63 ounces, not bad. And for those of you in the rest of the world, this is 46.3 grams. All right, so not heavy, not really heavy at all. Uh, and this functions, um, mounts very much like uh, scope rings on your scope. And you want to put this on your scope. In fact, we're going to do that now. Uh, this is a the 30 millimeter size, and they do sell it in a variety of different sizes. There is the 1 inch or 25 millimeter size, and uh, the 30. And um, I believe they also make a 34. Um, so for those of you with larger scopes, especially for those who are doing long range and want the extra elevation from a larger tube, they do make the, the larger size here. But this is 30 millimeter, and why this is important is because, well, assuming that your scope has already been leveled to the horizon and mounted to your rifle, and everything's all level and everything, uh, oftentimes when you're shooting, you're so concentrated on your target and so zoomed in the target, you, you don't really, you can't really see the horizon, so you don't know if your scope is canted in, slightly in any way, and that little bit of cant can be enough to uh, put off your shots by, you know, um, at 100 yards, maybe it's only an inch, an inch and a half, but that could be in the difference between hitting the 9 or the 10 ring, and at farther distances, that could be the difference between uh, hitting the target or not. So, having a bubble level shows you whether or not, as you can see here, whether or not your scope and your rifle are level or if they are canted. So let's install this. It's pretty straightforward. It mounts per, like a, like this, your scope rings. So you'll want to unscrew this first. And that's what the Allen wrench that comes with is for. All right, got one on, on either side. And you'll just want to mount this. Now, where you mount this on your particular scope is going to be a matter of uh, your personal choice. Some people like to mount it uh, on the rear here, uh, uh, but I prefer having it forward. And I also because I want to be able to clear all of my controls, and I don't want uh, the bubble level to be blocking my view of either my turret numbers or my range numbers on my parallax. So I'm, I like to mount mine uh, further towards the front. So that's why I mount it here. But again, that's up to you. It really is a matter of personal choice. So you'll want to mount them both somewhat loosely because you'll need to make the, some adjustments to them. And you'll want to mount it on both. Here. And I like to have it a little bit more even when I can, even though this is not really required because um, the bubble level will itself show you whether 
um, whether it's true, it doesn't really matter whether or not these are even, and the torque on here doesn't have to be very high because you're, this is not mounting onto your rifle, it's mounting onto the scope. So you want to have a little bit of play so that you can make some fine adjustments to it. Be just a little less tight here. All right, so assuming this was on your rifle and your rifle and was was uh, your scope was leveled, your reticle was leveled to the rifle and to the horizon. Let's make that assumption here. What I mean by that is if you're properly setting up your scope for long distance, you want to make sure that it is zeroed out and properly leveled. In fact, you'd even want to have a little tiny spirit level for your rail, and I've got a video on that. I'll include a link to that. Uh, but then once you have that all leveled out, you want to look through the reticle. And you want to look at a flat horizon or a plumb line at a long distance. And you can use a landmark like a pole or a wall if it's level, or you can simply use a weighted string, a plumb line, and just rotate your scope in your scope rings so that it aligns to that plumb line. The vertical part of your reticle aligns to the plumb line, and that makes sure that your scope is level. So assuming that was level, what you just need to do is adjust your bubble level so that it is level in the tube there. So all things being level, what you just need to do at that point is just tighten this down. And again, you don't have to tighten it too, too much. Just enough so it doesn't move from true. And there you go. As you can see here, the bubble level is still quite visible. You can see, let me just look through the level there. You can see, I could see the the uh, where the bubble is, and if it's if it's canted, the bubble will not be within uh, your two center lines. And I can still uh, manipulate all of my controls. So this is a good position for me. Anyway, your position maybe it will be different, and. Um, this works quite well and it doesn't add really any significant weight if you're especially if you're doing bench rest uh, rifle shooting which is what you really want this for if you're going to be hunting this is really kind of not um, a, a uh, an accessory that you, you particularly would need hunting and unless you're really going for headshots here but well, in any case um, this is really for for long range bench rest shooters and uh, competition rifle shooters but this is a very very useful tool an accessory for for those folks out there who need this anyway if you're interested in picking up one of these easy shot bubble levels and uh, as i mentioned they come in a variety of sizes to match your scope tube size uh, you can purchase them online you can find links to the product in my blog at moondogindustries.com so check that out and before you jump off to another video, I'd just like to ask you a quick favor. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons. It's absolutely free and it helps this channel grow, but it also helps you out because you're telling the AI, you're taking control of the algorithm and letting it know what you like. And it will start suggesting more content like this, stuff you actually enjoy watching, as opposed to whatever is the most popular thing on YouTube, which could be cat videos, unless you're into that. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Moondog, out. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please share it on forums, Facebook, Reddit, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, MeWe, whatever social media you're on. And if you want to see all of my videos, check out MoondogIndustries.com.